On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolffort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Lord Saranoa? Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master, Lord Saranoa. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Woolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon? I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way.
But Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree, which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle and heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. What do you intend to do with us? Make you our little hostages, is all. And wring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair, though? Ya Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible! The ship was full of as frosty soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you? Striking resemblance. Might you be father and daughter? You 
got that right. This is Trish, my pride and joy. She's a chip off the old block, ain't she? <laughs> Minus the stench and the hairy arms, maybe. You wound me, girl! That was supposed to be a compliment. If you'd prefer, we'll leave you alone to settle your family dispute. You're the whole reason we're quarreling, you dolt! Exactly! You're about to pay for messing with Travis, the Bandit King! Our foe has lost their composure. Well done, my lord. Enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plans! Two arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rouse. 